past that door. Alright, we're now going to explain the plot. Sorry I jumped in at a weird moment. I don't know. I think there's some kind of off switch somewhere. Oh, and I just now realized I left my TV was I unmuted. But my TV hot hit on. Whoops. There was a slight bit of echo there. My bad. Looks like this is where I come in. Ooh, what do you got, Morgana? I have a suspicious place in mind. Remember? This shack is the basis for Matarame's palace. True. I actually scouted it out the last time we were here. I know. I sent you there. Oh, so this was your plan from the start? Probably. Correct. You only went scouting because you were bored. It's true. So, where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. Mm-hmm. But don't we want to be open in the door in the palace? All my questions, why is it found brilliantly Pinico feathered or oh, peacock feathered? You yes. think And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Madarame's eyes. But yeah, if you wanted to keep telling, why would you have have it designed with peacock feathers in mind? I mean, it draws attention to itself by existing. But yes. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. Mmm. In other words, when we open the one in Madarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own. Probably. I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that gonna work? Monster. Oh, I'm not even gonna worry about trying to explain to Ryuji. Trust me. There's no chance it won't open. Yeah. I think. This is probably an ex untested experiment, but I'm sure it will work. Stand, don't you, Joker? I sort of understand what it is. Yeah, but. Why don't you trust me? It's worth a try. It really is. That's the best bet, unless you want to try to fly through lasers. That hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Morgan's a lockpick. Be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. Are you sure you're gonna be able to do it well and fast with no thumbs? I mean, you don't have to cat. It will take some time though. Doing everything by myself in front of Matarame would be impossible. Fair enough. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh, Morgana, you sly douchebag. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and Ryuji got it too, but Ryuji's kind of, uh... His mind is in the gutter so bad. I'm pretty certain of it, actually, now that I think about it. The things I've seen from him. Man, how are we even gonna get into his house? <laughs> We'd get reported for sure if we force ourselves in. Oh, your acting is just terrible, Ryuji. Your sarcasm. What? Is she actually oblivious? I, 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 I. Yes, the only way is having go nude. You did have to quote it. You had to say it. You just had to say it like that. What? <laughs> Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. Well, of course you would. You probably have a front row seat. This isn't funny. <laughs> I'm not saying you should really get naked. <laughs> It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Madarame's house without raising suspicions. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady An. This is way too sudden! Tell me about it. I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is! Leave that to Morgana, he knows. Don't worry, I'll accompany you. But that's still technically only me. Worst comes to worst, what if I get found out? Who's gonna think you're trying to unlock a door? Yusuke? We can run into the palace. Or something. Is that really gonna work? We have a lot of untested theories going on here. I mean, you're not giving me much confidence in this plan. Again, we have a lot of untested theories going on right now. Do I have to be the bait? Who else is it gonna be? 
Me? Good luck, on. Why can't one of you guys go nude? Dear, uh, um. Uh, it ain't what he wants. And in either context. Then make it so he does. Um. I don't play for that side of the team. All you gotta do is trick Yusuke, have him take you to that room, then just open the door. You make it sound so easy. Yeah. But if there's no other way, I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't have a choice. Uh, God. Fine, I'll do it! For justice! Seriously, you better pull this off! Don't worry! I have the, I have Ryuji with us! With me in my palace! Scratching even if all my claws were to break. We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, alright? Yeah. If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down! Oh, well, that's one way to tear down the palace! I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open. Got it? <sighs> We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. Alright, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow? Wait, tomorrow? Earlier the better. I mean, that's true and all, but she needs some... Uh, will Kitagawa-kun agree? It's Yusuke. He's probably going to. Oh, just say something like... I really need it to be tomorrow. That should work, yeah? Do you really have to say that tone of voice, man? Okay. Leave this to me. I got- I'll get it open right before his very eyes. Oh look, I got a text. You get in touch with them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just be careful. It's a pat- a palace is a reflection of how its owner views the real world. So if his cognition of reality changed, it's only natural that his palace would be reflected. With all jokes aside, we really need Lady Anna to strip for Yusuke. It's the only way. Let's see what he is. To go into be near busy places here. I'm not a fault if you get involved in any shady business. Always so helpful, not dead. You must be retired after today. Let's go to sleep. I agree. No time. Oh yeah, I just realized while I was in Mementos, I didn't even uh, showcase what I, what new personas I can make once I get to certain levels. Oh well, I'll probably do that next time I go to Mementos. Uh, next time I go into the velvet room. Well. Lady and I will be over at Monarambe's house. Yep. Well, me and Yosuke, oh, uh, me and Ryuji are going to kick ass in the palace. And, um, me and Jay are banned from going there, so all you gotta do is wait here. No, you two have something different now you'll need to do. What? What do you mean? You have to wait inside the palace. Once that door opens, sneak in and look for some control room. We don't- we need to make sure that the door won't close anymore after it's open. Oh, I get it. Okay. You can leave that to us. Yeah. Leave it to me and the dog. To think you'd really come. I assumed you were lying when you contacted me. I really didn't need to hear it like that. I'm sorry it was so sudden. Oh, it's not a problem. But, as I told you yesterday, Sensei will be returning in about 20 or 30 minutes. Oh my! So, um, I'm sorry if that causes some anxiety on your part. That's why I'm here today, damn it! 
What was that? <laughs> oh no! It was nothing! By the way... Have you gained some weight? Dude, you don't say that to a fine girl like, oh my god! <laughs> you think so? I weigh the same as always. Maybe I'm bloated today. She really doesn't want to get nude! <laughs> so then, can you, um, get ready here? I need to take my clothes off, right? Yes, please. She <laughs> is a little nervous. Embarrassed. Uh, could you look the other way? Oh. Oh my. Phew, that was tight. Tight? I think his man was activating. No, I'm doing this for art. <laughs> his manhood is activated. Don't look over here, okay? Hey, your sensei is coming back soon, right? <laughs> I believe so. Hmm. Do you think we could do this somewhere else then? A little more atmosphere would be lovely. Well, this should be good enough. But wouldn't a room with a lock be a bit better? A lock? <laughs> Must a girl say more? But the only one with a lock is Sensei's room. Then why not there? I can't intrude. Besides, I don't have the key. <sighs> he says he doesn't have the key. It's okay. That's why I'm here. I'll just use this hairpin. Takamaki-san, are you about... You were wearing all this? <laughs> Don't you think it's cold today? <laughs> I mean, it was raining. I suppose so. The sun is starting to set. Right? That's why a change of location would be nice. I mean, I'm gonna take it all off. Her acting is terrible. True. It might make for a better picture if I can brighten my model's mood. Uh-huh. That's right. <laughs> she may even be willing to try out various expressive poses for use in a dynamic composition. What? <laughs> what kind of poses? And uh, she starts breaking again. It's actually kind of terrible. If you wander around, Sensei will... Oh, it's so hot. We really can't use any other room. Hey, why not this one? Please wait. <laughs> I'm counting on you, Mona. Oh my. Seriously, gonna be able to pull this off? Probably, I don't know. Stuff like, I'll just seduce him with my acting, but that sounds out of her league. Plus, we ain't got one sign this place is gonna open. Isn't Madarame coming home soon? On top of that, even if Mona's able to unlock the door, how's he gonna show it to Madarame? And then, even if they do show it open, any normal person would just close it right up again. Unless, you know, they cause a giant panic pandemonium. Doesn't that mean we only got a few seconds to get in? To be blunt, won't it be a miracle if this works? Technically. It'll definitely work though. I wanna think that too. But uh, what? It's almost time. Yeah. Oh man, our truth, people! Drum roll, please! Please, can you just wait and. What's past here? She actually has a pretty nice tank top there. Bum, bum, bum. That's. So the door Mona mentioned is up ahead. 
I keep telling you, you can't! <laughs> He's freaking out like a little bitch! You're still not done? It's hard to do this with cat paws! A poison of thumbs! They forgot about the thumb! Is something the matter? Oh, um... So... What is this room? It's a storage area for old paintings. Storage? Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Why don't we do it in here? Oh my! I'll be embarrassed if we go somewhere nobody can find us. Only Sensei can go in there. I wanna be alone with you. That's not seductive sounding. Somewhere like quiet. <laughs> you know, where we won't get interrupted. Is he really going to buy that terrible act? <laughs> Stay focused. Hmm? <laughs> oh, it's just so frustrating that my feelings aren't getting through to you. Kitagawa-kun, do you not like girls like me? No, th that's not true. How is that working on him? That's a good question! Please? Then again, he is a completely oblivious man, so... Can't go in there. Uh, it's locked anyway, so. The walls are meant to be broken. You can't have order without disorder this and chaos. I'm leaving. But let's just do it in here. What do I do? I'm home. Huh? What are you doing there? It's it's not what it looks like. What's she about to do? What? what the hell? Not in there. That's the only way that was gonna stay open for long enough. Peacock feather door open! It's off! Are you serious? They're amazing! Yeah, for real! Let's go! Woo! Let's go new! That's right, we're finding. One of his minions called New. Right. But it's gonna be me and you for a bit into if we run into enemies, you good? Let's kick some tail! Yeah, I'll be counting on you! Yeah, there's like almost nothing in this area other than that one enemy. Damn, already? Well, what do you want to do? Well, we'll have to kick his head. Sorry. Who are you? I'll see that attack. You must be the thieves who dare threaten Lord Manorame. Look, it's new. You are trespassing on Lord Matarame's territory. You guys ain't got nothing on us. Hey, I'm don't. here to screw up and have an on yell at me. Now that's terrifying. Come. <sighs> um.
What could its weakness be? Go down. Uh. What? Uh huh? Dude! Shit! Uh, I've never had problems with this one before. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh joy! I'm gonna restart this battle. You cannot. You guys ain't got nothing. I'm. We saw all that. We do know that sweetness happens to be fire. Go down. Let's go. On attack! And it's dead! It's a step forward. Bum 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 Man, that was a tough boss. Man, it'd be a pain in the ass if we were spotted. Anyway, let's get, turn off that security system. Agreed. Takamaki-san, this is bad. Oh yeah. Are these the lights? <gasps> oh my sweet Christ! All the Sayuris. Isn't this Sayuri? Why are there so many of them? I have no idea. Get out! Sensei, what is the meaning of this? I suppose I can't keep quiet now that you've seen this. Truth be told, I'm in severe debt. I handmade these Sayuri copies and have been selling them through a special connection of mine. But why? The real Sayuri was stolen by one of my pupils long ago. I assume they begrudged my strictness. That moment was quite a shock for me. Since then, I've been mired in a terrible artist block. Because of this distress, some of my pupils handed their ideas over to me from time to time. Bullshit! I knew I couldn't keep that up, so I attempted to recreate the Sayuri a number of times. However, it resulted in nothing more than replicas. That's when someone came to buy the paintings, knowing well they weren't original. It's all my fault. I couldn't pay the price of being famous. As expectations for me rose, it reached a point where I had no choice but to keep making them. I 
needed money to further your talents. I ask that you please forgive your cowardly teacher. Please, don't. Hold on, something doesn't add up. If the original painting got stolen, how did you make copies of it? Damn! I happened to find a finely detailed photograph of it uh, in an art book. So you managed to sell copies of a photo of the original? I'm not sure how this works, but don't people who buy paintings generally have a keen eye for the fine arts? Mm-hmm. Mm, this sounds like a lie to me. Yeah. What would you know? Something just doesn't feel right. Lady On, this one seems different. <laughs> Yuri. This This is the real Sayuri. <laughs> but you just said a moment ago that it was stolen. Uh oh. That's a replica. No, it's nothing of the sort. This painting kept me going. It's the reason I made it this far. Sensei, don't tell me. It's fake. Yes, a counterfeit. I heard there was a counterfeit spreading around, so I bought it. So you're telling me the actual artist behind the painting bought a counterfeit? That's pushing it. Yeah, that definitely is. You're lying, Sensei. Please, just tell us the truth. You too? I've reported you to my private security company. What? I had it set up to deal with some problematic paparazzi, but I never thought it'd come in so handy. Please, wait. Let's talk about this. You can talk all you want to the police. That includes you, Yusuke. Oh. Lady on, let's run. I can't. Where did it? There's no point. They'll be here within two minutes. Takamaki-san! That's some um, response time! Though it's not good enough. Not for us! Yeah, let's That's really good. That shit turned off. Deal. All right. This must be new, which one's for the security? Well, we could guess, even though there's really only one active computer. Done. Disengaging security protocol. Sweet, now the laser will, court will be off for good. Well, that's a mission complete. Let's get out of here. Yep. <laughs> hey, who's there? And we're running. Running, 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 running. Running like a bitch. Well, that's cool. Well, looks like they read the series. Let's get back here and meet up with the others. Three, two, one. I hope those two managed to get away. No! Damn! That's some uh, fucking superhero catch. And we're gonna. Oh! Run! Panther! Oh, I didn't mean to push him so hard. Are you okay? Wake up! <laughs> Who are you all? Don't you know us? Calm down, Kitagawa-kun. It's me. Akamaki-san. Yep. That means you two are. I don't recall ever seeing this cat costume before, though. I mean, uh, this is Madarame's heart. What? Inside Sensei's heart? You're. I'm sorry, Takamaki-san, but are you sure you're feeling okay? He's. This is. Lion. This is what that bastard truly feels. He 
He's nothing but a greed filled money grubber. It's true, he is. Enough of this rubbish. Kitagawa kun, didn't it cross your mind that something wasn't right about Matarame? <sighs> That's. You may not want to believe it, but this is another reality as viewed through Matarame's eyes. This is his true nature. It's true. But I don't think this is he's this is more than his brain can process at the moment. Just who are all of you? I guess you could say we're a group that changes the hearts of Ron Crooks. Exactly. If everything you say is true, then the sensei I know doesn't exist. You gotta snap out of it. I mean it's not like he technically exists, even though it's just a face for other purposes. Still, he has kept me safe these past ten years. My gratitude for that won't just disappear. You're gonna forgive him? At this rate, you'll... Are you okay? I'm trying to be rational about this, but my emotions are overwhelming me. Sorry, but we don't have time to dawdle. The security level's gone through the roof. We need to get out of here at once! What the cat said. Here, lay on my shoulder. No, it's all right. Oh, well, you know, he can lock himself. Yes. I'd say we have an imagery with us. We're trying to find Freddie as much as possible. Unfortunately, we're not going to use the quick the method I normally would employ. How could this be? So this is the inside of Sensei's heart. A Bay Museum such as this. If you listen carefully, the music changed. <laughs> this painting. Do you recognize it? We were thinking these might be his past pupils or something. But why are why are there paintings of them here? Technically, those aren't actual paintings. They're the pupils themselves. Saw them as objects, so that's why they're in here. Oh, and uh, we found yours, too. Let's, we'll talk more later. For now, let's get out of here. So close. Damn it, we were so fucking close. It literally was. Mama Rambe shows his face to us now. Who is it? What the <laughs> talk about bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Yep. Welcome to the museum of the master artist Madarame. Huh? Sensei? Is that you? That attire. Yeah. Disgusting. This this is all one big lie, isn't it? Nope. My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. Some setup you got there. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. If the Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? Money. If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. Foolish child, you still don't see? Painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Ha <laughs> ha! How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that. No. The mm -hmm. art is purely subjective. Thus, this is a legitimate business transaction. 
Though I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. Of course he wouldn't, because he truly cares about painting, not money and finances. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? He really isn't. Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame. You helped me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, it pisses me off. That's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Mm -hmm. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> to think I was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Nope. Talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. <laughs> After all, it's much easier Bastard. to kill the futures of children who can't fight back. Just despicable. I can't believe this. Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. But I'm tired of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you! You repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn brat! Damn! Dispose of these thieves! Get back! Oh my! Huh? <laughs> it seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? Yep! Kitagawa-kun? I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. Blind and unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Yep. Now awaken your rebellious side. Have you finally come to your senses? A new teammate. Sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. <laughs> Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish. That's impressive. <laughs> Who do you think you are? The price for your insolence will be dead. Where are my guards? Kill them all. <laughs> The children who adored your father. Prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? All of them. No matter what it takes, I will bring you to justice. <sighs> Let's see what you're made of. Well, <laughs> oh my, that's a creepy ass smile. All those things are annoying. In the presence of Lord Marwame. On your knees, intruders. I learned much from you, Marwame. 
In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. With Goemon by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations. Good job. Those things are annoying with that skill. Good job, Ryuji. It's just not funny. I'm having a lot of fuck ups. You are in the presence of on your I learned the with go Let's go. Going on strike. His weakness be. Let's go. Go down. Persona. Watch your health. When you get some breathing room, feel. Hey, you're in danger. Pull back in here. Oh, 
All right. Much thanks. Oh, are you okay? This is my other Watch self. Watch your help. Using. Persona! Go down! I don't see a weakness. Well, he's strong against that. Well, down goes Skull. Job. We don't have a coin here for him yet. Good job, on. Good. Ba 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 ba. You say you've just thrown your bright future down the drain. Bright. It wasn't even bright to begin with. Every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist. <laughs> Matarame. You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me. Oh boy. Kitago Akun. Why can't I move? Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. Yep. What a disgrace I am. Come on, just listen to her. Yep. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? He probably has. I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? No one. Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. You mean because he raised you? Mm-hmm. I never knew my father. Ah. My mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father, but he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori, the very foundation of his art, like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? Mm hmm. When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. I understand well. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I've been denying all this time. Mm-hmm. Oh, the chance. You're way too serious. serious. <laughs> yeah, you are. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. And he's no brainiac whatsoever. For real. What are you going to do now? I don't know. We can't help the fact that Madarame has gone and changed. But we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. Mm hmm That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Mm hmm Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> oh crap! Yeah, we can't. We need this. When did my clothes change? <laughs> Brilliant! I didn't notice this, dude. 
just noticed that now? Save it for after. Let's go! Woo! Must resist saying that phrase. This is evil. Damn it! And because of that, this PE teacher's had a change of heart. Mm -hmm. Phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. Yep. Is it that hard to believe? No, I believe you. There's no need for common sense to blind me after seeing a world like that. <laughs> so, your plan with Madarame Sensei, who is Madarame, is to force a change of heart, correct? Yep. Let me join as a member of the Phantom Thieves. That's fine with me. Why am I to surprise? Reality sooner. This may have been avoided. I must put an end to this for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was, in some manner, my father. Yeah. Little, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're gonna deal with Madarame anyways. Mm -hmm. we have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't failsafe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. That's true. Kitagawa-kun. It's a deal then. Yep. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. Woo! I hope we get along, Yusuke. Yep. You better not slow us down. Definitely don't. I'll do my best. Oh, and no nude paintings. So that was all done. <laughs> well, that's quite daring, Takamaki-san. <laughs> it wasn't my idea. It was theirs. Actually, it's more of a cat's. What else were we supposed to do? It's his fault for going on and on about the nude modeling thing. <laughs> I haven't given up on that yet, though. <laughs> Give it up! <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Madarame. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. Banchikawa? I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. Well, of course. He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, he's still furious about it and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. Oh shit. Talk about being completely on guard. Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Maybe he still has more secrets. Probably. If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. Probably would be too. Right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? We'll have to force a change of heart before then if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Mm-hmm. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. Yep. By the way, what is this? Huh? A cat. <laughs> but it's talking. Yep. Don't question it. Problem with that? No, not really. Why not? <laughs> He's just on a different wavelength than other people. He's an idiot. Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. Hmm. Hey, don't touch me like... I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. <laughs> ah! I bet he got that idea from a black cat. <laughs> oh! Oh. I didn't bring any money. Never mind. He's just weird. <laughs> He's weird is an idiot, but he fits right in. Hey. I hope you're not up to no good. Don't forget you're still under probation. Got that? One misstep and you're finished. 
No good. No, no, no. What's wrong about changing the hearts of criminals? We're doing the right thing. And they go actually the same. For, oh yeah. That sounds problematic. We just need to change this up before he passes charges. Try to focus on that problem for now. And considering we went to Momentous, we will go to sleep. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bobby.